What's up everyone, Captain Shoes here, and I am about to do one of the most requested reviews that I have ever had. And maybe I'm a little late to the party, but today we will be digging into some McDonald's and checking out the menu hack of the land, sea, and air, which is McDonald's basically giving us something we've always had before and like before, making us do it ourselves. But before we get started, please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, get down in the comments and let me know what you think about the menu hack of land, sea and air. So, what is the land, sea, and air, you ask? Well, it is a combination of three classic McDonald's sandwiches all put together. The Big Mac, the filet fish and the McChicken. And what you do is you put it all together yourself and you call it the land, sea, and air. But when McDonald's put this on the menu as Oh, now you can order it by its name as if it wasn't, you know, some secret thing to do with before. They don't assemble it themselves. They still make you do it. So these people who have been doing it for years still have to do it their own way, which I hate. If you're going to do something like this, do it big. I want to be able to get a big ass sandwich and be able to gaze at its enormosity. I don't even know if that's a word, but the enormousness of the sandwich I want to be impressed by. But I'm here and I'm going to put it together myself because I do it for the people. I do it for the rock. I did it for The Rock. So, we got a filet fish We have the Big Mac and the McChicken. You put them all together and you make the land, sea, and air. Normally, I like to do these kinds of reviews in the parking lot, but I knew I was gonna need a table for all this. Based on the photos that were provided, you put the filet fish on top of the bottom patty of the Big Mac. So we're going to assemble. I'm going to move my top part of the Big Mac, and grab my fish with the tartar sauce. Full disclosure, I have never in my life had a McDonald's filet fish So this is gonna be brand new for me, but Got a, it's got about a half of it stuck because there's a piece of cheese on the bottom. So, okay, we got that. What a waste of buns, too. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're wasting buns just so we can put this together ourselves. Doesn't make sense. So we got the filet of fish goes on top of the bottom patty. Then we remove the top portion of the Big Mac bun to place the McChicken. So let's get our McChicken here. Okay, got the chicken. And we're going to put that right on top. Of the Big Mac. Now let's get this out of the way. So we're not distracted by stray items. I mean, it's pretty substantial <laughs> now. Okay, let's see what this looks like all put together. There we go. Check that out. We got a Big Mac, which has two beef patties. We've got our filet of fish right above the bottom patty and between the second middle McDonald's Big Mac bun. And then the McChicken right up top here. So this is land, sea, and air. Let's go. Ah. You definitely taste that filet of fish, let me tell you. Ah. All 
that. So this is interesting. And you definitely taste the fish. Like I said, it's my first time having the fish. I'm not normally a big fish guy. You could tell it's fish, but there's nothing really. I mean, I know it's fish, but there's nothing like overly fishy about it where I'm like, oh, gross, this is just disgusting. Um, the main thing I'm getting out of this is the, the Big Mac sauce kind of stays as the over the overwhelming flavor that I'm getting out of it. The burger patties seem very small by scope in here. I'm not getting a lot of the burger in it. As if as it feels like the, the chicken and the fish are the ones really taking hold of the flavor profile here. And also because of the size, the ingredients start slipping around and moving out when you take a bite. And I hate that, but we do this for science. So you see, we are dropping some pieces here. A little piece of burger and chicken there. Have a piece of fish, more burger and lettuce. <laughs> and there you have it, the land, sea, and air. For a hack item, it's fine. It's one of those things that is great for people on the internet to put together and talk about. But when McDonald's does it themselves, it's, it's no longer a hack item, it's a menu item. And when you do it like this, where all items are basically given to you individually and you have to put it together yourself, then what's the point? You should have just left it as is and things would have been fine. You literally just gave us something that we already had. There is nothing new. Nothing spectacular. I could have been doing this for the past 20 years. I haven't, but I could have if I so chose. To all together, is it is it good? Sure, it's fine. I like Big Macs. I like McChicken. I didn't hate the filet of fish. I didn't feel like I got enough of the tartar sauce kind of on there because you just take it out and maybe too much of the tartar sauce had gotten on the filet of fish bun and didn't transfer over when I put it together. Maybe that's an issue. Um, the McChicken, the McChicken is just lettuce and mayo, so that's really negligible. Otherwise, the sandwich is fine. I don't think this is something McDonald's really should have gotten behind. I think this was the perfect thing to show as like an internet, like, hey, look at us, we're so cool thing. I'm fine with it being that, but like this, when you make me put it together myself, now I've, I've lost all the expectations because so much of it is just the fact that I'm seeing it for the first time being presented to me in an otherworldly fashion, something that I've never gotten before. That would have been the kicker, but they didn't do that. So all in all, taste-wise, it's fine. But on presentation, it is not fine because I got to do all the work myself. And if I wanted to do that, I would apply for a job at McDonald's and I would do the work myself. So for that reason, I'm giving this only a double main man, two stars, disappointing all on the presentation level, could have been bigger, could have been epic. This is show business, folks. This is show business, and you needed to show me something instead of making me light the fireworks for myself. <sighs> McDonald's, I expect more out of you. I do. So, next time, you give it to me in a big box. A big box! That way I can hold it, get it in my grubby little paws, measure it, be like, oh, look how big this is. Because you didn't do that, which you should have done. Double main man, two stars. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Get down in the comments and let me know what you think about the land, sea, and air combination extravaganza sandwich. Otherwise, until next time, friends. Mm -hmm.